there is always variation within a species, which is called intraspecific variation. Now, it can be caused by two things, genetics or the environment. And these two effects, your genes and your environment, combine to give the overall phenotype and the phenotypic variations within a species. Genetic variations can be passed on, but environmental variation cannot. So what kind of things cause genetic variation? Well, the random fertilization of gametes, the random mating between organisms, crossing over of chromatids in meiosis, independent assortment in meiosis, uh, and also mutation. All these things can cause variation in the genetics, uh, in the genes of an organism. Now the first four allow for alleles to be reshuffled. So the alleles in the population are just moved around, uh, reshuffled between different individuals. But mutation is exciting because it can actually introduce completely new alleles to the gene pool. Now when you study variation, you can split it into two types, discontinuous and continuous. Discontinuous are thing, qualitative differences which tend to have no in-between um, forms. So they're distinct categories. Uh, things like blood groups, you're either A, B, AB or O. Your sex, um, you're either male you're either fe or female. Tongue rolling, you can roll it or you can't. There's no in-between values. Okay, So usually the data is represented in a bar chart like this. Continuous variation tends to be quantitative differences, which have a range of values with no distinct categories, things like your height and weight and heart rate. And if you look at a population, it tends to be bell-shaped, so the majority of the population tend to be around the middle, around the mean, so you've got all the people of average height, and then it, it, the extremes, you might have some very, very tall people and very, very short people, but not so many. So you tend to get this bell-shaped curve when you look at continuous variation in a population. Discontinuous variation um, is usually different alleles at a single gene locus, um, which can have um, really large effects on the phenotype. Um, different genes also have quite different effects on the phenotype. Um, quite often controlled by only one uh, or a few genes, uh, and the environment tends to have very little effect on um, the outcome. Continuous, though, is usually different alleles at a single gene locus are having small effects on the phenotype and different genes usually have the same uh, or often additive effect on the phenotype. So you might have cumulative effect of many genes adding to the final phenotype. So this is what we call, um, this is polygenes or polygenic. So there's lots of genes contributing to the final phenotype. Also the environment can play quite a big role in the final phenotype with continuous variation.